You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have uh, uh, Mary Waldron, everybody's favorite. Aw, thanks, Everybody's Mark. favorite, Mary. <laughs> okay, and we are talking about the eighth yeah. annual yeah. John A. Waldron Wiffle Ball we Tournament. We are. It's our eighth and our final right. Wiffle Ball Tournament. Right. Um, but it is. It's happening on June 8th, Saturday, June 8th with a lot of other things going on in the city, so. Busy day. Busy, busy day, and um, it's our, you know, it was decided last year, you know, our, we're all getting older. Mm -hmm. um, our family members are growing and having babies and moving away, so it was really starting to become a little bit more of a, um, a little bit of a struggle, just, you know, to try to pull it all together with a lot well, of different last things. Last year you were planning a wedding at the same yeah, time, if I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, there was a little busy stuff last year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, this year, no wedding, but it um, it really was decided. We, we're just checking in is staying in the existence. Foundation, the right. foundation is staying in existence. Just the wiffle ball itself. Um, the tournament is um, is going to go away, um, or at least as a fundraiser for us. There have been a couple interested parties who are looking to maybe do something, and I'd be more than happy to donate those equipment um, to them. And um, you know, and of course, we'd be supportive of whatever that is Brockton centered. So we still have Cape Cod Cafe. Oh, you do stuff there. We just had a meat raffle a at meat the Polish raffle. White Eagles yeah. that we raised about seventeen hundred dollars for that. So this year, being at the last year of Wiffle Ball, I really am looking to try to set the goal really high. Looking to raise about forty thousand okay. dollars. Um, the last three, four years, we've raised about twenty-five, mm -hmm. and um, I'm looking to endow a scholarship. Right. in John's name right. and once that's endowed and what other funds are available that we continue to support Brockton related um, activities like the drama club and sports and the boys and girls club and the YMCA and the charity guild and Brockton family and, and all the stuff that right. John always was involved yeah. with and you've always been yeah. involved in it's great really, yeah. Brocktonians it, stand up for other Brocktonians. It's it's pretty amazing. If you and look at the teams that you have, you get all I love all the names. <laughs> Some okay? really great names. They're really cool names yeah. and you know, it's kind of who's who list and who knows who and you know, we, we, we played a couple of years. Yeah. Uh, we're not very yeah. good. We're not very good, but we had fun. You had fun. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's all for a good cause. I think you'll do it, Mary. You know, 25,000 to 40, that's not a terrible stretch. No, it's not. And I'm pretty passionate about the things, the charities that we support. And um, I put it, I'm shameless. I will ask anyone and everybody. So if you're moving around out there, you see me come, and I really am going to ask because I, if I can get to that goal, um, you are guaranteed that the funds that are being raised are going right back into these charities, right back into yeah, the city. Yeah, you don't have administrative fees. No administrative fees, um, nothing, and anything that we really have, we get donated. So, so, so this year we're pretty good. So we have a program book every okay. year. This is from last year. Um, we get it donated. A, a former, a um, former printing company here in Brockton that moved out does yeah. continue the work. Um, and so it's filled with a lot of information, and and so we um, we have about a thousand people that attend between the teams yeah. and the spectators and volunteers. We have about a thousand people that show up to this so event. So people want to find out more. You have a just checking in website. website. I do. I have two ways of reaching us. So the website is www.justcheckingin.org, and we also have a Facebook page that's pretty active. We have about closing in about two thousand likes and friends who like us, I guess is the way to say it. And um, a lot of information is shared um, on that and Instagram and Twitter. Um, but the website really is our most um, easy go-to. It mm -hmm. shows who we've donated to, um, our activities, and um, it just shows some of our past scholarship winners. I love the shirts. So one of the team's names this year, it's um, John's Cousins a team. Um, they're called the 54th. So a couple of things. John was 54 years old when he passed away. We live at 54 Sycamore Street. The number of his football shirt was 54. Mm -hmm. And there's like four other things that are 54. Well, the snack shack up the at, snack up, shack up is at Marciano that's right, Stadium. That's right. So, um, so 54 is pretty prevalent for us, and that's why it's on the umpire shirts. So all the umpire shirts, these are worn because John, on a um, when they had dressed down Friday at work, and these were his mm -hmm. dress down days. He would wear his Hawaiian shirt. So yep. umpires wear the Hawaiian shirts. Um, the teams have crazy names. We have about 
seven teams that have been there right from the first one mm -hmm. all the way through, including Nancy Dunsing's, and it's the Game of Throws. Yeah, well, that's that's a popular thing <laughs> it is. nowadays. It, it is. Although people didn't like the ending, but this is this this is will be a better ending. It's a much better ending. Okay. And and um, family members and others are really kind of glad to uh, I think to not see me being stressed out at a certain time of year. Yeah. But the website's there. Our program book is actually we've just sent it to the printer too. So okay. opportunities for the program book are closed, but donations and there's field sponsors and things of that we that are can't promote them but you I have understand. great raffles we have great we have great raffles you have amazing raffles i can't that's okay it's a weird fcc law uh, that on cable television you can't yeah. pr promote raffles now think about broadcast television right. and you get games of chance all over the place <laughs> right, like the lottery right. but for whatever reason the fcc said cable access stations we can't, can't do, do it that. so sometimes i like i couldn't do the family and community event oh, this year right. because of that gotcha Usually right. we're always there for that. So uh, interesting. So it's there's if you want to find more about what is being offered and opportunities, it's on our website and also our Facebook page. So all I can say is we've got some great prices. So <laughs> so Mary, what's the most important thing that's come out of all of this for oh. the for the last last eight years? Right. So in the beginning, it really was a way for all of us <laughs> who are grieving and miss him so much. Yes. Um, but it's a way that um, we've come together and support each other. People supported Casey and I and John's brothers and sisters and nieces, nephews, you know, aunts and everybody. But it also, in John's spirit, we continued to check in with his college friends and high school friends and neighbors. And so it really, really epitomized who he was and how much he loved the city. He sure did, and I gotta <laughs> tell you, Mary, I, I, I met a lot of people in politics over the years. You know mm -hmm. I'm active and yep. you're active. Your husband was just one of the nicest, mm -hmm. kindest people. He, he never said a bad word about no. anybody, and no. I don't ever remember anybody saying a bad word about him. No, he was a pretty special guy. And yeah. you, you and Casey attributes to it. I know family's all about your, your mom is how old now? She's going to be 92 in September. Unbelievable. <laughs> and she looks healthy and, she's, and happy. She's, and she's, she's everything. stuck on that wood yeah. there. She's healthy. So yeah. we, we think about all the people that are going through tough right, times. And, right. and, you know, it, it, it's, you know, some of them gone too soon. Gone like way John. too soon. And, and we've had players who have played who have left this earth and so the lesson really is is I can't tell you enough that how important it is to check in with family and friends and neighbors exactly what John's doing and so these past years past eight years with Wiffleball we were able to do that. Well thanks for keep doing what you're doing and I'm sure it'll metamorphosize into something else. We'll see. Okay. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.